what's up guys welcome back to the channel so quick reminder this weekend we do have the youtube call and i hope to see all of you guys there so also we have lucas uh, he's bringing his whipple gt 2018 whipple gt up here uh to my house we're gonna install some cool stuff on his car and uh you've seen this car on the channel before me and sting mode did a driving review of it it was awesome we had a, a just an incredible time And I'll link all of this again in the descriptions and everything else. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump to the video. He should be here soon, and uh, it's gonna be—it's gonna be awesome. guys we are here for a really cool install so what we have in front of us is lucas's 2018 whipple gt you've seen this car before on the channel when stang mode and i drove the crap out of this thing and it was it was an awesome time so we are going to do a servini's grill here don't mind the the cat litter right there <laughs> so servini's upper and lower grill should be a quick install and then over here we're going to do we're going to do the sound tube for the Whipple to give it some added noise. I think that it needed a little bit more and I think that Lucas is not. So we're going to wake it up today. Should be a fast install. But beautiful beautiful car. This is great. He's got the racing stripes with the white on them. Looks good. This is a 10R80 car which is the only transmission you should get. He's got the Recaros all of that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're sorting everything out. So you got a bunch of screws, some 3M tape, and a bunch of these little brackets. Keep in mind that the black ones here are gonna be for the bottom grill. They're a little bit longer than the silver. So silver top, black bottom, um, everything is individually wrapped, it looks fine. But yeah, they, they really protect this stuff. So packaging is great. And you get a free sticker, look at that. It adds like, for your yeah, five horsepower or something all right we got this hot rod in the air and we also have gabe that just showed up yo so he needs to post over. he need to post videos man yeah i know so he's got some stuff going on and he'll yeah. touch base on his channel but if you're not following him this is his car the white one you've got mine you have the white gt over here and oh i can't show him i can't show him what you did your mods oh you can show them so they did uh, the MMD wheels. They look pretty good on the white. Looks pretty sharp. All right, cars in the air. This is gonna be a very fast install. CJ Pony Parts Bill, he put out a really good video of the install of this kit. And it's pretty detailed, but we're just gonna get through it as well. But man, look at this. God bless. How much you making, making to the wheel? 731. 731. This is stage two, 3.0. All right, so this piece has to come off. Pretty simply, you got a bunch of these push pins like he's doing right now. Just don't lose them. There's a ton of them. So you got six of the eight millimeters, and then you got these two at the end. A little bitty five and a half at mm -hmm. the end. So what's going to happen is it's going to be just like the Stang Mode's header install. I'm going to work for five minutes and then I'm just going to film. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we, me and Alex did mine and that shit was pretty legit though. Yeah, I thought they had one there. Right, there's I thought on a new one that they switched. There's so guys in here. Once we peel this back, let's see. Yeah. Well, see, the CJ video is making it look so of easy. They do. Everything <laughs> so much easier. On they YouTube. just what they do is they just cut out all the they crap. Just cut out like thirty minutes of trying to get one little ten millimeter bolt. Wait, 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 yeah, let's move. I can get my fingers up in there now. There we go. 
All right, guys, once you have your clips out, you're going to come under here. We've already got the bolts out, but let's see if I can get in there. So there is one and two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this bracket in place right there. So we're just going to pull this thing out real quick up in place. So it looks like that This comes underneath and that's it. It just drops right out. Pretty simple. All right. So, yeah, these will come out. What happened? No, it was just me standing here pointing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's doing work. <laughs> you pulled that tab. So, this is the crack bar that we're taking off. There we go. Uh, yep, CJ's video makes it look e easy. And, uh, it takes about five minutes. <laughs> so essentially, yeah, there's a whole bunch of push pins. Then they look like this. And uh, for his video, we'll get on the back side, and then somebody's going to push this way while we undo from right to left. They always said the first one was the hardest. Yeah. Let's try something else. Let's go up here. Yo! Alright, push right here. Yeah, push right here. Jesus. Look at that. That's right. No broken tabs. <laughs> no broken tabs. No broken tabs. Just yeah, that's important. Just take your time. Do it right. Um I was never just going like this. Yeah, you want you want an open grill. There there it is. <laughs> grill delete. Uh, uh arrow, uh force induction. Yeah, just just make sure that you guys are taking your time and then uh, don't over force anything, don't break anything. And there's a bottom. No tabs broken, just a little blood drawn. That's okay. Yeah, that's gonna open up there for quite a bit. Oh yeah. Look at that. I think it's madly covered. <clears throat> So for reference, you can see the back here. Yeah, especially the sides. Here's your intake side. So not a whole lot of opening there. So yeah, he is correct about airflow. This thing is just gonna breathe a lot better with this new kit. So now here, there's like 15 of these bottom pieces. We're gonna do the bottom uh, portion first. And you got 15 of these guys here. And uh, essentially what's gonna happen is once it's on, It'll be screwed down like this and then pushed all the way up like that. Should be very, very simple. All right, four hours later. So what you want to do? Four hours <laughs> four later. Four hours later. Um, the bottom grill and the front, the top, you're going to come from this side from the front, push it in. And then you're going to do what he's doing. Get them somewhat tight and then you're going to have to adjust them up once they're on. But uh, yeah, getting under here is going to be a chore. Yep, this is why you remove that splash shield. So you'd never be able to get to these bottom little clips had you not been able to do that. So it's going to be smooth sailing now. Smooth sailing. Stick it on there, man. And then you put it through the screw or holes. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so what's going on here is down at the bottom, you have these clips that you push in right there towards the outside of these bracket area. And then you're going to take these uh, guys right here, make sure that that ledge goes towards the back of the car. Take your supplied push pin and put it through the side there, and that will support this here. If you have a non-performance pack car, it comes with some other pieces over there and then just uh, adhere to the instructions and then uh, it's a no-brainer. All right, so once that's done, this is gonna be solid as can be like that. That's like a 10 millimeter under there. And now the crash bar is not, it doesn't have any clips to go back on there. So you're just gonna three in this thing back on here. It look like UH-60. UH-60's outside? Yeah. Yeah, it's Army Town over here. 
CH-47s, Chinook, cargo helicopter. I've been in those quite a bit over Afghanistan. I mean, that's the way Bill did it. Gotta make sure the tab's good. Put it on the top, you want to plug it in first. Yeah. Plug it in the lights. All right, we're back on the ground. This is how it looks. Of course, we're gonna put it in the sunlight and get some better footage, but here you go. Looks good. I'm completely sold. Um, it was like this or the RTR for me, and uh, right now this is doing it. This is uh, it's quite a difference in person. Looks great, absolutely great. All right, so next thing on the list is this sound tube that we're gonna do for his Whipple, and uh, we're gonna route it basically down here like the normal sound tube. It kind of cuts, so we've been measuring over there. You're gonna cut it back, and then it's going to drill right into the intake, kind of like your normal sound tube would anyway. And then, long story short, uh, we're gonna go inside of the car, pull the accelerator out away from the vehicle, but then separate that uh, from the firewall with some spacers, and uh, should give us a lot more noise. Should sound really good. It can, yeah, it can, still, it can spin some more. <laughs> so that thing is going to go down here where your existing um, sound tube would go, and then we're going to drill into the side there of the intake, and it's going to feed some sound. Pretty simple. Okay, he's in. That's a good seat, dude. All right, guys, we're done. He's going to pull this thing out. Got the sound tube. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Got in the sunlight. Looks mean as hell. Definitely, definitely, I think worth the money. Of course, I didn't pay for it. It's all you, but I think that um, is a wise purchase. I think that it definitely changes the look of the car quite a bit. And then he added the sound tube for the Whipple. So he's going to get a lot more of that induction noise. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this car, I'm going to link it above. Me and Sang Mode both ran the crap out of this thing on the back roads and tested uh, out this glorious power. And when he comes down November 16th, this is the car that he's going to be driving to beat Demonology. So, damn, I wasn't recording at all. <laughs> I was talking about it. Just say all that again. All right, guys, we are in the car after the sound tube. And this is John Foster, you said? Sean, Sean Foster. Sean Foster. It's about a $120 kit. It's a sound tube kit that goes from your blower, your Whipple, down under the floorboard here. So you can, it'll pipe in more of that glorious wine that comes from the supercharger. Uh, when me and Stigma drove it before, inside of the car, you couldn't really hear it that much, but now you can. It, it is quite loud, um, and we have traffic all around us. So, I'll give it a try. Just a short one. Okay. Yeah, hopefully the camera is picking that up. So it is, it is quite loud inside of the car. Definitely a big change. <laughs> so he's on his street tire setup. This car makes 731 rear wheel horsepower. It is a monster. Um, this Whipple 3.0 stage two kit. Is that correct? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm definitely gonna link the, the video above where me and Sangma drove the crap out of this car, but uh, awesome, awesome. And then we, yep, one more. Absolutely. God. I'm gonna have a goose egg on the back of my head for the seat. That's awesome. So sorry for the camera, the shaky camera footage. I'm just holding it out 
in front of me. My other mounts are in the other car, but uh, man, what a difference. So if you have a Whipple on your 2018, 2019 Mustang GT, I highly recommend you do this kit. Plus the Cervini's uh, grill turned out really, really well. I think it looks really, really good. I agree. Yep. Um, super easy to install, about uh, 17 hours. <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> uh, no, it, it looks really good, so. All right, short and sweet video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Remember, we have the call out this weekend up there at uh, in Pennsylvania, and then November sixteenth down in Nashville area. So down here, Bowling Green, um, Stangman is going to be driving this car that we're riding in right now to beat, hopefully beat, <laughs> demonology. I'll see you guys later.